Hi guys, so this is what I'm making today. As you can see, some meatloaf and some vegetables to go along with it. Um, I was actually inspired by Misty and Leslie because they posted a picture of Elvis and I had nothing else in mind to cook so I thought I would do um, meatloaf and I had all the everything so yeah I am making meatloaf and shout out to Misty and Leslie <laughs> and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy so right here I have a bowl with a pound to a pound a pound and a half to two pounds of ground meat and um, I do have gloves on because it gets messy and I don't want to get my hands dirty so um, first thing I'm going to put inside of that is some black pepper and this is all just like eyeball eyeballing so I would say about um I don't know about like <laughs> uh two teaspoons I guess of that um all depends on how much meat you're making and stuff so yeah I also have some Italian seasoning here sorry I hope it's not too bright so I'm just gonna add that and again, just about, um, actually, you know what, about like a tablespoon. Yeah. Um, I also have some Parmesan cheese. Parmigiano Romano. And I only have a little bit of that, so I'm actually adding the whole thing. And again, that's about a tablespoon. Um, can't do it without garlic, so I have garlic powder here. Um, you can also use about two to three garlic cloves. But I'm just going to, again, just add about a tablespoon of that. Um, then, I only want to add a little bit of salt. So that's going to be about a teaspoon to maybe like two teaspoons. Not too much, but of course you can adjust it to your liking and your family's liking. Um, I also have here some Progresso breadcrumbs. And this is the Italian style. Um, you don't need to get an Italian style. I think it just adds a little bit more flavor um, to anything that you're cooking. But basically, all it is in here is what we add in, in here, which is the um, Italian seasoning. So, which, you know, has oregano and onion powder and um, stuff like that. Like thyme and, um, oh, you get the deal. So, <laughs> rosemary and all that. So, um, hopefully you can see it in there that... It has like parsley and all that good stuff in there <clears throat> but I'm just going to add about a third of a cup of that in here and I'm not going to add it all right now because I want to um, get it perfect so I don't want to make it too dry or too wet so I've added a little bit in there and then I'm going to add one egg and this is just gonna bind the egg is just gonna bind everything together so it's important that you add the egg in there all right so the last thing is I am going to put in um, you guys can see this I'm going to put in about about Two tablespoons I'm just eyeballing it of milk and that's just gonna keep everything moist as I've said before um, you don't have to use milk I prefer using milk because it's a little bit thicker and so it gives it a little bit more thickness and rich flavor 
so after I've done that, um, I'm just going to mix everything together by hand. I'm just breaking up the meat here. There's some parts that are kind of hard. Um, make sure when you're cooking anything, um, especially meat, that you leave it in the fridge overnight. See how it's hard there? Um, I didn't have time because this was like a spur of the moment type thing. Um, as I explained in the beginning, <laughs> this was inspired by a picture that Leslie and Misty posted on Facebook and I was just, I was cracking up. It was just funny, the whole thing. But anyways, um, this is Elvis's favorite dish. So yeah, I was inspired by Elvis. Look at that. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, make sure that you put any kind of meat sitting overnight in the fridge if you're going to do it the next day. Um, what I did was, and if you don't have time for that, all you can do is um, let it run in the packaging. Like, don't take it out of the packaging. Let it run um, under hot water in the sink. Or if you have a microwave with the defrost. I don't really like doing that because I think that, um, I, do, I don't know, I just don't like it. But um, you can also do that if you would like. Um, the meat is not frozen, but there are some spots that are still kind of hard a little bit. But that's okay, when I'm working it with my hand like this, um, it breaks that up. And also, um, you can also do this a day before if you want. Like if you're having people come over or whatever, or if you don't have time, the next day you can certainly do this the day before. But um, yeah, this is going to feed about up to four to six people. I'm going to say about six people, um, maybe more if you have, if you don't have an Italian uh, family or big eaters like us. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and of course you can add and substitute anything that I put, I put in here or um, substitute it for anything else that you or your family might like. Alright, so after I got that mixed up, um, right now you can tell if it's going to be too dry or too moist. Um, I think this is actually going to be perfect, so... Alright, so I'm just going to wash my hands and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, now I have a square dish like this. You can use whatever you want. This is a 20 by 20 or 8 centimeters or um, a 2 quart or 8 by 8 dish. And if you have... Um, uh, bread loaf, you know those bread loaf tin pans. You can use that if you want. That would actually be better. Um, but I actually like forming this freehand, and I don't have that, so um, we're just gonna form this into a loaf. Just make sure that you see these holes here. Make sure that you're covering it because you want it to be cooked um, evenly, so, also you can substitute ground meat for turkey or ground chicken um, or anything like that. You can also, if you'd like, you can also add sausage, ground sausage to this, Italian sausage. Um, that's usually how I make my uh, meatballs, but um, just wanted to go the American way here. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cover the whole top with some ketchup. And I just got some regular Heinz ketchup here. You can also use a no salt or um, 
low sugar uh, ketchup. And then you're going to need some brown sugar. Like I said, you don't need to mix it up because when you put it in the oven, it will mix itself. So I'm just going to go and wash my hands and then I will let you know what temperature and everything to put this in the oven for. Two things that I want to say. Usually people like putting bread, loaves of bread, just regular American sliced bread under the meatloaf and what that does is it just catches all the grease from the meat on it so that it's not on the meat or all over the pan. Um, I really don't mind anyways because what I usually do is get a low um, fat or lean uh, ground meat so that it's not covered in grease. So we got our meatloaf here and we're going to put this in the oven for 350 and this is going to go until I would say about 40 to 45 minutes, maybe 40 to 50. Um, it all depends on your oven. So what I would suggest is to just keep checking it after the 40 minutes. Um, Basically, it should be, if you have a thermometer, that'd be the best. But basically, you just want to make sure that it's fully cooked and you'll notice because it'll be totally brown and everything else. This doesn't go in with a foil, um, so no foil. And yeah, so we're going to go put it in the oven and see how it turns out. All right, be right back. Okay, so it took about an hour at 350, as I've mentioned. At the end, maybe the last five minutes or so, you can um, put the temperature up to 400 to 450, just to brown the top a little bit. As you can see, it didn't render too much fat. Um, so just make sure you get a lean ground meat for this. I am going to wait 10 minutes before I start slicing. All right, so now I have plated the meatloaf, and there it is. Um, I would suggest to, um, with the meatloaf, because it's so rich, I would suggest you use um, a couple of vegetables. I've used um, green peas, sweet peas, some Brussels sprouts, and my Brussels sprouts has a uh, cream butter sauce over them. I've also um, plated some mashed potatoes with it and um, anything that you guys would like. Um, yeah, I guess you could use like carrots and or anything like that. So um, yeah, this is what we're eating tonight. And Yep, hope you guys enjoy, and if you guys recreate, not recreate, if you guys make this at home for your family, um, let me know in the comments below or um, on Facebook, whatever that you guys want. And um, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.